So I began with Hope in a Jar and moisturized my face. Next, I used my Sephora foundation and applied it with my Real Techniques foundation brush. I already did one half of my face, so I'm just going to do the other half now. Next, I'll take my brush and just rub it in all over my face. Now I'm going to take this Victoria's Secret lipstick and apply it under my eyes to contrast with my concealer to get rid of the purpleness and darkness under my eyes. I know it looks weird, but bear with me, you will see. Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques Painted Foundation Brush and conceal that in under my eyes and on my eyelids. Next I'm going to take my e.l.f. powder and also my e.l.f. complexion brush and just seal that in for an overall finish. Next I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyebrow kit and fill in my eyebrows with this eyebrow brush and take this light powdered color and fill in my eyebrows because I do have wider skin so I don't want my eyebrows to be too dark that will match with my hair. Now I'm going to take my Smashbox Blue Eyes palette and use this blending brush to highlight under my eyebrows with this white shimmery color that I'm almost out of. And I'm now going to use this peachy color as a base to set my uh, color on. Next, I'm going to take this 24-hour color tattoo, Buff and Tough, and use this small Smashbox brush and apply that all over my lid as well. This is a really natural and neutral uh, colored eyeshadow. It's very shiny and shimmery as well. Now I'm going to take this Eternal Color Femme Couture Liquid Felt Tip Eyeliner and draw a thinnish type line on my lid. Now I'm going to take this Define the Line Maybelline eyeliner and fill in on, on my waterline so there are no white spots and visible mistakes if I have any. Now I'm going to take my Tarte um, eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes before applying my mascara. Now I'm going to take this 
Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara that I just started using up again. And it's so nice, it really extends your lashes while not making them clump at the same time. Now I'm going to take my Define Line again and fill in any spots after applying my mascara. Now I'm going to use my Bronze Blush Duo to fill in the hollow of my cheeks. Now I'm going to take this blush brush and put this rosy color blush on the apple of my cheeks. I'm smiling so I can see the apple of my cheeks so it will make my cheeks stand out when I do have a smile on my face. Now I'm going to take my EOS Honeydew Lip Balm just to apply as a moisturizer to my lips before applying lip gloss. Now I'm going to take this Bonnebelle old lip gloss that I love and it tastes very good and put it on my lips just to add some rosy color for a natural day look. Lastly, I'm going to take my finishing spray just to set my makeup so it will stay on longer in an X form and a T form. Lastly, I'm going to take my Kinky Moves Curl Defining Hair Cream because I do have naturally curly and wavy hair. So this kind of just adds some more texture and waves and makes the curls last longer so they don't fall out. So if you do have wavy hair like I do, this is a great product to buy because it adds to your beachy waves and make them look really pretty. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!